Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about sigma notation. And this is a notation used to abbreviate series, arithmetic series, for example. And this letter right here, this is a Greek letter called sigma, and it's basically the capital S in the Greek alphabet. And we can use this symbol to help us write these long series in a very convenient way. So for example, I've got this series here, we've got two plus four plus six, all the way up to 20. So we're adding the even numbers up to 20, so it's a finite series. And we can write this using this notation, and it's gonna look a bit weird to start off with, but we write the letter sigma, and then we write n is equal to one below, below the letter here, and we've got 10 terms. So we write 10 above here. And then in front of the sigma, we write the nth term formula. So we're adding up the even numbers, and this is just 2n. So the nth term of this series is un is equal to 2n. So if we put n, any number n, we're gonna get the nth term is two times that number n, right? So we have n is equal to one here, this gives us two, four, six, etc. So the nth term formula, this goes in front of the sigma. And then below, this is like the starting point. Starting point, so the index where we're starting off. And up here, we write on top, so this is the number of terms, it's the finishing point. The number of terms. And this is exactly, uh, it means exactly the same thing as this series. So the way you think about this is you start off at n, as n equal to one, so we have two times one, which gives us the first term, and then we move up n up all the way up to n is equal to 10. So we go from n is equal to one, then to n is equal to two, we add one to the index, and then we have two times two, which is four, then add one to n again, so we now have n equal to three, so two times three gives us six, and we work our way up all the way up to n is equal to 10, and this gives us the last term. So we've written this whole series um, in this uh, very convenient form. We have the first term, the last, the number of terms, and the nth term formula. Okay, so now let's do an example going the other way. We're gonna start off with our series in the sigma notation, and we're gonna try and work out what this series means. So we're gonna try and interpret this notation. So our nth term formula for the series is gonna be one plus three n. And we're gonna go from n is equal to one, this is where it usually starts off from, n is equal to one, all the way up to five. So there's gonna be five terms in this series. And this formula tells us the nth term in the series. So to work out what the series is, to decode this notation, we just start off with putting n is equal to one into this formula. So one plus three times one, that's our first term. Then for the second term, we put n is equal to two in this formula. So one plus three times two, and we carry on all the way up to n is equal to five. So you get the idea, I'll just write these out. One plus three times four for the fourth term, and one plus three times five for the last term. And we can just simplify all of this. So this is gonna be one plus three, that's four, and one plus six, which is seven, one plus nine, that's 10, one plus 12, which is 13, and finally one plus 15, so that's 16. So this notation, if we decode it, we get this series out. Oh, I should have written pluses here, sorry. So it's not a sequence, it's a series. Um, yeah, so this notation, we have to remember to put the pluses in between the numbers because it is a series. And then we can ask what this series actually adds up to. So now we're gonna use the formula for the, uh, the sum of a series of n terms, and if you remember, this is given by Sn is equal to n over two times two a plus n minus one d. Right, so a is the initial um, term, so this is the first term. D is the difference between terms, and n is the number of terms involved. So we want to f uh, work out the sum of this series and this five terms. So n is gonna be five in this case, let's just write S5. So we substitute n is equal to five into here. We have five over two, and then two times a, a is the first term. In this case, it's when n is equal to one in this formula, which comes out as four. 
So 2 times 4 here, plus n minus 1 again, that's going to be 5 minus 1, which is 4. And then times d, which is the difference, it's the common difference between terms. And you can see here that it's just going to be 3. We're adding 3 between successive terms. And you can actually see this in the nth term formula. So to get to the next term, uh, we have to multiply by 3 by the next number of n. So we're just going to be adding 3 between terms. So d here is just 3. And then we've got all the information we need. So I'm just going to simplify this. And we'll have 5 over 2 times 8 plus 12. And this simplifies as 5 over 2 times 20. And that's 5 times 10. So that's, this is, comes out as 50. So this is the answer you get if you add all these numbers together. This is the sum of the series. And we can find it very conveniently using this formula. So this is something you definitely should remember.